expression to be a cannon is positioned at a clip of 60 meter high from the crown so that's me we have a cliff we have a cliff here and this crown and this is 60 meter is 60 meter 60 okay and then the cannon is shot from the cannon at a uh, cannon uh, angle 53 so that's mean it's shot here and the angle here is 53 okay so what's this this is our u and the value is what this will give an initial speed of this so this is our u so that's mean from this u u we can but we can make it yeah resolve it into u x and u y here okay and here is the 53 okay so uh okay it takes time to the ground is 6.08 so that's mean how is the trajectory here is the trajectory to the ground so that's mean before it reached the ground so this is the velocity here velocity there okay so the question asks us to find the maximum height it can reach from ground so that's mean the question asks us to find this this and this is uh, h h right so if this h we already know you know from from here to here is 60 so here here is what here is displacement at vertical s y so so we want to calculate that s y so what do we have we have here we have we can find we can find u y and we know uh, v y v y at the maximum height here v y is equal to zero so using y equation we have v y u y s and you have a gravitational a replacing a right so we have v squared is equal to u squared minus 2 g s y so for number one we want to find the s y first we will find the s y and then we add 60 and we get h okay that's the process okay that substitute v we substitute v is equal to zero why zero because that maximum v y is equal to zero so this v y to be more accurate and this u y v y is equal to v y squared is equal to u y squared minus 2 g s y so zero is equal to u y so u y here so here u y so that's mean this uh 53 so from this diagram u y is equal to u sine 53 okay so we have it here uh, u we have 225 sine 53 3 and square minus 2 g s y there you go we, we only don't know the s y value we calculate very carefully and we get s y is equal s uh, s y will be 20.32 meter so here is SY 20.32. So the question asks us to find H.
So, so that's mean H. This become 60 plus 20.32 meter. And we get the answer 80.32 meter. Okay, next. The question has to find the speed. Speed when it reaches the ground. So here, speed. Speed is the final velocity that speed here. Okay. So speed is the magnitude of velocity. So that's mean we have to find the velocity, the final velocity here. That's mean we have to find Vx and Ux. To find V, so we have to find Vx squared plus Vy squared square root yes we find v so that means no need for us to find the direction since it's only ask us to find speed so we have to find v vx first so vx is equal to ux so you expect here up here so ux so why is ux ux is equal to u cos Theta and we substitute u 25 cos uh, 53 and we get 15.05 meter per second. Okay, we x settle now. We find v y v y. Okay, we already know the, the question given here time. So, we already have Vy, a uh, Uy. Here, Uy, right? Uy? Uy is 25 sine 53. So, we can use equation Vy is equal to Uy minus G T. Because we have the time given there. So, we substitute 25 sine 53 minus times 6 sorry 6.08 and we will get the answer negative 39.7 meter per second look the answer is negative 39 why is negative because look here so we have here is our is is pointing downward. This is v y. So it's a very logic. And here is a v x. And v x is pointing to the right. So of course the answer is positive here. Positive plus fifteen. Here is minus thirty nine. So we study to look at the value carefully. and we get the answer 42.06 meter per second since the question asks us to find only speed so we no need to find the, the angle the, this angle 